Hi, I'm Truth Calkins, and I'm here today to make a new dressing that I really love called Tonic Yogi Dressing. This has got a blend of some of my favorite top Ayurvedic foods that have the right taste and texture to mix in with a tahini, lemon juice, olive oil sort of base and a little raw garlic and salt. Um, very universal, very Ayurvedic, um, very, very healthy, very fun to make, and we're going to go over why it's so nutritious. That it's a tonic. This is a yogi tonic dressing. So we're going to start with our oils. Now this is an amazing oil. Not everyone even knows of chia seeds, let alone that you can actually get an oil press from these little expensive seeds. And this is more expensive than flaxseed oil, but this is way higher in omega-3s. And you can order this on Longevity Warehouse. And because it's low temperature ground, all of the vitamin E complex and the antioxidants like CoQ10 are naturally intact. It's not oxidized, so there is no toxins in this, like a lot of store-bought flaxseed oils will be oxidized and you can taste it. The texture of the stuff is amazing. It's so clean and fresh. So we're gonna put one ounce of our chia seed oil, a much smaller ratio of the chia seed oil to the olive oil, because the chia seed oil is medicinal. This is a very powerful detoxifier, and it has slightly stronger taste, but it's also more expensive. Now the olive oil, this is David Wolf's extra virgin olive oil in Myron glass. This is a really great omega-9 monounsaturate does not interfere with your omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, very high in world-renowned antioxidants for the cardiovascular system in the heart, like tyrosol, uh, twice the strength of coenzyme Q10 as an anti-aging antioxidant. A lot of the great research from the best old-timers out there living over 100, 120, olive oil has been one of the main ingredients in their diets. So we're gonna use four ounces of olive oil Now we have our oil base. So next, we're gonna put in our lemon juice. We have cut the lemons into quarters, hand squeeze them, fresh organic lemon juice, seeds filtered out, four ounces, half a glass. And now we're gonna to go to the tahini. So this is used a lot in Ayurvedic um, foods. This is a raw organic uh, tahini, seed butter, like a nut butter very high in minerals and protein. It's got kind of a strong taste, very smooth, so we just need a little bit of this to give the texture. We have three tablespoons of raw tahini. And now we're gonna go to our antioxidant superfoods. So this one right here, this is rice bran solubles. This is tocotrienols. People have heard of tocotrienols, like vitamin E in the health food store. They buy one of the family of eight, a synthetic form. Doesn't nearly have the same power. Vitamin E is an incredible antioxidant. Cardiovascular system, um, great for a lot of things. But this is the inside of the germ of the rice bran that has the vitamin eight complete. It has gamma, beta, alpha, delta, tocotrienol, and tocopherol plus other naturally occurring superfoods from B vitamins to selenium to alpha lipoic acid to coenzyme Q10, naturally occurring. These used to cost about $4,000 a jar because they were hand chafed and they would use them for people uh, with rare autoimmune disorders because they were so beneficial to the immune system. But now with industry, we can get these for just $40 a can. Um, light, sweet, fluffy blends right in to just about any kind of a drink and adds a nice amount of antioxidant nutrition. Now, we are gonna go into our, our four Ayurvedic superfood powders. First one, not strictly speaking Ayurvedic. This is more from a cruciferous yam root-like vegetable from Peru called maca. Probably everyone's heard of maca. It's been real popular as a hormone balancer in the nutritional industry the last, I'd say, seven, seven years or so. Um, good fibers, um, helps regulate the hypothalamus, which is sort of the master endocrine gland in the brain that controls the whole endocrine system. So can help with hot flashes in women, but can help with libido and energy and strength in men um, and energy. Tastes nice, kind of malty with a fiber. It's gonna blend smooth and evenly, really nice with our other Ayurvedic superfoods. Now these three powders, these three powders are amazing. This one here is Baobab. This is a dried fruit pulp powder from a tree, a very bizarre, but I think actually very beautiful tree from Africa. 
Um, you might have seen it in The Lion King. Um, very thick trunk, and they call it upside down tree because it looks like the roots sticking up out of the trunk in the sky, kind of like a, a bonsai tree. Beautiful. The trunk can hold the water, and that's how it can live in the desert so long. But this powder, this is like, this is like a gourmet Camus to me because it's very tart, it's very tangy, it's five times higher than oranges in vitamin C. Very high in minerals. Um, it is a fiber and it is a little bit sweet, but it's 50% inulin, FOS. It's a prebiotic. Certain carbohydrates can actually feed beneficial bacteria in the intestines more than they feed pathogenic bacteria. And that's what they call a prebiotic. A prebiotic is sort of like fertilizer for your acidophilus in your gut. So we have two teaspoons of these superfoods we're going through. Two teaspoons of the maca, two teaspoons of the baobab. That gives us a little tanginess, a little tartness in our vitamin C. And then our next Ayurvedic superfood in the yogi tonic dressing is ashwagandha. Okay, now this, this is one of the most anti-aging substances from nature that we have on the planet right now that people can take advantage of. And I know people in Ayurveda know that this is like one of the top herbs. It's called Indian ginseng a lot of times because ginseng is the most famous herb in the Chinese system. Ashva means horse and Ganda means smell. It's like smell like horse. It's a, it's a, I guess it's an odd smelling herb. But the tonic benefits of this herb, it's the, the anti-aging properties really stem from the antioxidant functions. They've been doing research on animals that have been given ashwagandha over time and they find very high levels of the three top uh, endogenous antioxidants in their brains, superoxide dismutase, catalase, and glutathione. Now the brain where we process so much glutamate and activating neurotransmitters is where we get so much aging and neurogeneration. So ashwagandha really protects the brain and the whole body. And a lot of research with um, older people having improved balance, cognitive function, learning, memory. Um, it's a powerful anti-inflammatory to the whole body. It's powerfully antibacterial. It's powerful for the whole immune system. It's powerful as an adaptogen on the endocrine system. It helps to lower stress, but it's also, and it's energizing, it builds strength, but it also is calming. It's used for anxiety in Ayurveda, um, depression. It's used for insomnia. It, it has a calming effect. It helps with sleep at the same time as building energy. Now, it's great for athletes because it increases energy. How does it do this? It's increasing oxygen to the muscles, which gives you an ability to build more muscle mass with, with ashwagandha. Um, also used for fertility, for as an aphrodisiac, because it enhances the whole body. It's a, it's a whole body tonic. It's really, really an amazing herb. So we have two teaspoons of ashwagandha. Now, this is the strongest tasting herb, <coughs> a little bit bitter, that's in our dressing, but because the rest of the ingredients are so superb, you're not going to be able to tell when we're done. Now the last ingredient here, this is Google or Google lipid. This is another Ayurvedic um, tonic. Not as well known, but it's getting more notoriety uh, more recently on the internet due to its benefits for cholesterol and for thyroid function. This helps to lower the LDL, the, uh, the, the bad cholesterol, and increase the good cholesterol. It helps to break up plaque that, and prevent it from forming, which can reduce the incidences of atherosclerosis, which is a big deal. Heart disease being one of the biggest challenges out there for modern man today. It also, though, has enough potency to actually break up blood clots, it's believed, which can really improve that blood flow. But it's probably the best herb in Ayurveda for a thyroid tonic, which is so important for today because people have so much stress affecting the thyroid and they have so much toxins and autoimmune that's attacking their thyroid that they need to Get, get to the root of. So this is a really good endocrine, jing, thyroid sort of uh, tonic dressing that we're doing here. Now we have our yoga, our yogi superfood uh, powders added. Now we're gonna go to our sweetener. So with this, we don't need a lot of sweetener, just a little bit of honey, so we get that five taste flavor thing. And we have the Noni Land honey here from Hawaii. And this is a tropical honey. Honey is a very rare, unique substance. I think people still don't fully understand what it does. It's one of those things, kind of like salt, where a little bit used at certain times the right way is incredible medicine, the enzymes and the healing factors that's in honey. But if you overdo it, the sugar can cause a lot of problem for people. So we have two to three teaspoons of a good quality raw honey, like the Noni Land. And then our next ingredient is chopped garlic. So we have three cloves, fresh peeled organic garlic, this is going to add the heat, the fire. This is going to add the yang, the circulation. This is probably one of the cheapest 
power foods. I never forget reading about how the Egyptians that had to feed the workers to build and haul those massive stones to make the pyramids. Garlic, garlic. Garlic was the superfood that they used because it makes you strong. It keeps the immune system strong. It kills bacteria. A lot of research, even with raw garlic, if it's not abused and overused, small amounts of it done every other day or so can lower the pathogenic bacteria in the gut and, in diff and as an indirect result of that, beneficial bacteria increases. So if you use the right amount of raw garlic in balance, it's not a true antibiotic in the nature that it won't kill your good bacteria. So we have our raw garlic, and now we're gonna add in our ionic minerals. This is from Omica Organics. This is pH cell balancer. This is a magnesium chloride, the most alkaline form of magnesium with 72 trace minerals. Uh, great Salt Lake source with fulvic acid and malic acid, which helps dissolve stones like kidney stones and gallstones. So we're just gonna put four squirts of this in here so that we have enough trace minerals spread out through our salad recipe dosage. Double squeeze the stopper. And now our last ingredient, another one of the most understood, less understood nutrients of nature of the world that's so important for everything. This is a fine ground Celtic ocean sea salt. Celtic salt is famous for being the least filtered of all of the high quality alkaline mineral rich sea salts. Now this gives the dressing the contracting nature. This is also yang, like the garlic. This gives it all the trace minerals. And this adds the flavor. A high quality sea salt like this has such an amazing flavor with the garlic and the olive oil and the lemon. So we're gonna dump our salt in there. And now we're ready to blend up tonic yogi dressing. Don't wanna blend too long, don't wanna get it warm. So the superfood powders kind of mix really nicely with the tahini giving it this light color, smooth texture, amazing taste. The oil and the vinegar and the lemon, all giving it the base that we want. And I'm just gonna taste this. Mmm, wow, oh my God, <laughs> that's amazing. You can put this on anything. You can use this as a dip. You can just take avocados and put this. You can go to town on this. This is so good for you. You can feel the, the circulatory aspect of the lemon because it's, you know, as, as an electrolyte level, it's so acid. It really moves everything. It cuts the tahini and the superfood powders. Cannot even taste the bitterness of herbs like ashwagandha. Yet you have the best Ayurvedic superfood tonics. And these are high quality extracts from Longevity Warehouse. I've been really surprised testing every single one of these products before I do a lecture on them, and the source is really, really top notch. Can't taste them at all with these ingredients. The garlic, so light, can't even quite tell that you've got three whole cloves of garlic, which is hot, that's strong, and you can't really taste the salt either. The balance is so perfect. So I hope you all can enjoy this at home. This is the Yogi Tonic dressing. This is a new favorite for me. It's nice to have two in my repertoire now. Um, Yogi Tonic dressing, enjoy.